let's look at this question on collision okay now the question says a six kilogram mass moving with a speed of four meter per second collides with a body twice its weight and half its speed along the same direction after the collision the six kilogram body moves in the opposite direction with a speed of two meter per second find the final velocity of the heavier body all right so that's the question here all right so how do we solve this question here um solution here solution our first task would be to in this question here we can identify that we have two bodies here um we have the first body having six kg mass and the second body having twice its body weight okay all right so what this means is that we have um given let's just start giving given number one we have mass m1 and mass m1 is equal to six kilogram number two we have the second mass m2 and we said for m2 look at the question here it says um with a body twice its weight all right twice its weight will also mean twice the mass that means two times the value of m1 which is two times six and that's equal to 12 kilogram i have this all right number three what else are we giving here um the next thing i'm giving here from the question they said a six kilogram mass moving with a speed of four meter per second that means the initial velocity u of mass one that's u1 is equal to um the value here is um four meter per second so four meters per second okay they said um collides with a body twice its weight which we've gotten that already as m2 and half its speed that means number four there the speed or the initial velocity u of body two or of mass two this is equal to they said half half its speed so u2 is equal to half of u1 and the value of u1 is four so half of four it's equal to two meters per second so we have this all right so what's next here they said after in along the same direction okay this is very important okay if it's in the same direction um i will show what the formula looks like it's, it's a very key concept for this but then for now let's proceed they said after the collision the six kilogram body the six kilogram body we called it m1 okay so m1 moves in the opposite direction with a speed of two meter per second so it means that the final velocity number three number five now the final velocity v of mass m1 is equal to two meters per second and then finally they said find the final velocity of the heavier body the heavier body is mass two so six i'm looking for v of mass two that's the final velocity of the heavier body it's unknown so let's call it unknown here now this question is under the concept of collision right and we've do, we've already treated the concept of collision in our previous video okay so i'll leave the link to the video on collision in the pinned comments or the video description all right so check video description or pinned comments and you see um the link to this um this collision concept all right the full video on collision right from the very beginning and the derivation and from the very scratch okay i'll leave a link to that video for now let's just proceed with the question now from the core from this concept here we know that from the equation of conservation of linear momentum that the formula is simply m1 u1 plus m2 u2 it's equal to m1 v1 plus m2 v2 now this formula is so because they are moving in if you look at this this again here this question here said speed along the same direction this is what this is the formula if they're moving along the same direction if they are moving in opposite direction this formula changes so here would have been minus so assuming the bigger body was coming in the opposite direction of of this this formula would have been negative now negative because if it's coming in the opposite direction the initial velocity is taken as minus u so this minus comes here and then you now have m1 um u1 minus m2 u2 but that's by the way okay so take note of this concept all right but then we don't have to stress 
is in the same direction. Let's put in values. M1 is 6 kg. So 6 into U1. U1 is about 4. So I have 4 meter per second plus M2. M2 is about 12 kg. That's twice the mass or the weight 12 into U2. U2 is about 2 meter per second. That's half the speed of the initial. It's equal to M1. M1 is 6 kg. That becomes 6 into V1. V1 is this, which is 2. Plus M2. Um, excuse me. So plus M2. M2 is about 12 kg. That becomes 12 into v2 so v2 is unknown so we have this all right let's punch this so we have 6 times 4 here gives us 24 plus 12 times 2 gives you 24 it's equal to 6 times 2 is 12 plus 12 times v2 is 12 v2 let's solve this there 24 plus 24 gives you 48 so i have 48 here is equal to 12 plus 12 v2 would have to move 12 over here that becomes 48 minus 12 it's equal to 12 v2 all right 48 minus 12 gives you about 36 it's equal to 12 v2 to get v2 i'll divide here by 12 also divide here by 12 so what's the value of v2 we'll have that this 36 over 12 gives you 3 it's equal to this cancels this you have v2 so therefore therefore we can see that v2 is equal to 3 in meters per second so this is the value of v2 all right all right then i said as i said i'll leave a link to the full tutorial video that explains everything about collision from the very scratch in the video description or the pinned comments. All right, so all right, don't forget you can also visit my website. Okay, so you can visit my website www.junaimanu.com. All right, junaimanu.com and check you see the book section as well as the video section or as well as the courses section, right? So you can get either my books or my courses to learn more. And of course, you need to register an account with the website. Okay, registration of, uh, of account with the website is totally free. You register an account with the website, and then you can now proceed to get either any of my books or my courses to learn more. Okay, all right. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget as usual, hit the like button and leave a comment. Tell us if you enjoyed this video. Also, suggest other topics you'd want to see. If it's your first time here, or if you're yet to subscribe, why not? Hit the subscribe button and of course smash that bell icon and choose all so that you get notified whenever we upload new content. Finally, don't forget to share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.